Hey, what is it guys? My name is Eric and welcome to a really quick Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to render out WebM format files straight out of Premiere Pro. Uh, all you will need for this is a free, really quick and easy to install uh, plugin, which we'll have linked down in the description. I'll show you in a second. Uh, but yeah, at the moment I've got a really quick uh, project set up for my Twitch alerts. If you want to check out my Twitch channel, there will be a link for that in the description down below. I would really appreciate it if you give me a follow and check out my stream whenever I do stream. Uh, anywho, I've got this little animation here set up um, with a transparent video background. Um, so the background, that what you see in black, that's transparent and I, I want to keep it that way uh, once I've rendered the fo uh, file. Uh, but as many of you know, Premiere Pro doesn't support WebM format files natively. So for that, we will be using this little plugin here. It's a free to use, free to download plugin uh, by FNord. It's called the WebM uh, plugin for Premiere. It's fairly straightforward. All you need to do is go down to this link, which will be linked in the description down below and download for Windows or Mac, whichever one you uh, use. It's really quick and easy installation and you only need to do it once. Um, and from there, you open up your uh, Premiere Pro with your project, go up to File, Export, Media, and then up from the format, uh, check WebM. I've got a quick uh, preset, custom preset already set up, but I will show you all the settings you need to change. So you can change these as you wish. I've set it to 60 FPS, 1080p. Uh, from the codec settings, these are the more uh, most important settings. Um, from here, you want to select VP8. I know it's an older codec, but it works best. It has the best stability. Uh, quality set it to 100%, two pass encoding, uh, max keyframe distance 128. And the most important part, if you are looking to render WebM formats uh, files with alpha channel or transparency, please check this here. And that's literally it. You can press export and it will export this file here or whatever project you have open. Uh, as a WebM format file and if you selected the alpha channel and you had transparency in the project it will render that out with the transparency uh, encoded in there so it will be alpha plus RGB channels uh, but yeah that's quite literally it I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial hope it was helpful to you if it was please click the like button down below as it helps me out a lot if you have any questions or suggestions for the future readers or whatever then leave those in the comment section down below and as always don't forget to subscribe